Hello everyone, thank you for tuning into my video. Today we have something a little different than what I'm used to working on and servicing. It's not a vintage amp, it's a modern amp. And it's a very powerful amp too. It's a Carvin DCM 2500. Puts out 2500 watts of power, which is a lot. Uh, I found it at a local thrift store. They That's what all this plastic is. They kind of wrap their electronics in plastic when they put them out on the shelves, but I bought it because I have some PA gear that was given to me a while back and I haven't had a way to power them because I don't have an amp that's powerful enough. So luckily I think this amp will be more than enough power to drive those speakers. I know nothing about it. I have no idea if it turns on. It did not come with a power cord. So uh, I, luckily I have a couple spare uh, generic power cords here we could plug into it. Um, but first, before we plug it in, see what happens, we're going to take this cover off and we're going to just kind of give it a visual inspection, make sure nothing looked like it got really hot, nothing's burnt, nothing's crispy in there, and then if everything checks out, we will power it up and see what happens. I don't have the PAs here with me, so I won't be able to test it today, but uh, we'll at least be able to see if it powers on and if it uh, goes into protection mode, there's a light here that says protect or if it's ready to rock, so we'll find out. So let me take this cover off, and as soon as it's off, I'll get back to you. All right, we're into the belly of the beast. Check out this transformer here. This thing is massive, and it does weigh a ton. Uh, that's the bulk of the weight right there, but it overall looks pretty simple. We have our power board here. Uh, all the power transistors are mounted on the other side of this board. There's a, let's see if I can lift it up. There's a heat sink under here that they're all mounted to, and then there's a fan back here to kind of push all the hot air out because uh, heat is a semiconductor's worst nightmare. Uh, here we have the output board where, all the, where you hook up all your speaker connections. The power board, of course, and then this must be your power supply board where the uh, br bridge rectifier and all that stuff is at. Um, and then other than that, it, that's basically it. It's pretty simple. I don't see any uh, like burnt up components. I don't smell anything that smell out of the ordinary. The only thing is that that heat sink is just packed with dust and the fan is just caked in dust too. So I think what I'm going to do is get some compressed air and I'm going to blow all the dust out of that heat sink just to improve the airflow in there. Cause last thing I want to do is burn up a transistor just because it overheated. So I'll get some compressed air and I'll just shoot it in there <clears throat> just to help blow out all the dust. And then maybe I'll shoot some contact cleaner down in the volume, uh, uh, volume controls for the channel sound here. There's, these are the volume knobs, control. Maybe I'll shoot some contact cleaner down in there to clean those up a bit. And then that's it, really. Then we'll power it up and see if it powers up or goes into protection mode or if it even powers up at all. So let me get that heat sink cleaned out and the, the volume switch is cleaned. And then uh, we'll go from there. I figured it'd be interesting to show how much dust actually comes out. So I got my can of uh, compressed air here. I'm just going to shoot it into the heat sink and let's see what comes out of it. Little big chunks coming out. It's kind of tough to get at. There's not a whole lot of room to put your duster. Let me get my air compressor. Give, give me some more oomph.
heat sink all cleaned out, that thing was filthy. There is dust everywhere, all over my workbench. I gotta do some cleaning when I'm done with this. But after the visual inspection, everything looked okay. I didn't see anything that looked out of the ordinary or sketchy or on, you know, looked like it was on fire at one point. Uh, I didn't smell anything that smelled burnt up. Everything looked good. I was actually surprised how clean it was. Just, uh, just the dusty heat sink, which is pretty normal. Um, but I think we're ready to power it up. Uh, I have a generic power cord here. Let's see if I can plug it into the back. And I'll plug her in, see what happens. Don't smell anything yet. But without further ado, let's see. Mm, there it goes. The lights flickered when this thing powered up. It must draw so much. But there it goes. Fans running. It's in. Uh, it's ready to go. It's not in protect mode. Awesome. I think this thing's ready to rock. Unfortunately, I won't be able to try it out today just because I don't have the PA speakers here with me. But I will definitely try it out uh, in the next couple of days or so. But I think it's ready to go. Uh, seems to be running fine nothing smoking sweet <laughs> looks like we got ourselves a working amp hopefully awesome but i think that'll be it for this video let me turn it off here i think that'll be it for this video um i don't know if there's a service procedure for this amp i'll do some research on it um but if there is i'll film a video on it but uh, I think that'll be it. If you guys have any questions or comments, uh, please be sure to let me know. And thank you for watching.